Hello folks, how are you doing? And here, just to have a chat every now and then, okay? And uh, I want to cover with you what was the status of the course, okay? Here you go, here's the syllabus. Don't forget, we, you know, every now and then I need you to check the syllabus there in the website because I update the syllabus every now and then, okay? And uh, one of the updates that I did that I mentioned to you before was the date of the exams, right? Not just the partial exam, but and the, by the final exam as well. I changed the date to May 30th, which was originally scheduled for the May 29th, okay? And uh, I want to be compliant with the college policies and uh, the final is going to start at 7.30 a.m. and you have a window of 24 hours to do this two-hour exam. For our second exam, it's going to be April 17th after the spring break. Oh, we are going to have uh, this week, right? This is the, the week of the 27th. And we're gonna have this week, and then I'm gonna take a little break for the spring break. We're gonna have one more week of uh, material presentation, and then we're going to have the second partial exam, okay? So what, what I wanna talk to you is about the videos that I'm putting there online, okay? I just posted the video on the current and resistance, plus the video on circuits chapters 26 and chapters 27. I'm going to show you those videos and uh, those are old, those are ver video versions that were made last year, one year ago, when I was teaching Physics 38 as well. And you can, well, you can take a look right here, okay? Chapter 26, Current Re Resistance, and uh, is available there. It's a link to my own to my own YouTube channel. I'm gonna, and it's written between parentheses, older version, right? Chapter 26 is a sh kind of a short chapter, but it introduces to some important concepts, which is the here you go. Here's the book, right? which is the idea of electric current and the idea of resistivity plus Ohm's law. Those are the three important topics of this chapter. And also the idea of power, okay? So keep that in mind, electric current and electric resistance. And associated with electric resistance, we have a resistivity plus Ohm's law. So if you Click in this link right here. You will, you you will access my my lecture of last year, my last year's lecture. Okay. Then we're going to have also chapter 27. Chapter 27 is on circuits, and which is you know sort of a continuation of chapter 26. We use the ideas of current and resistance in chapter 27. Very important, this chapter, because you are going to be dealing with circuits in your professional life over and over again. You know, electrical and electronic circuits. Keep that in mind. Okay? And let's... Uh, so that's what you have right in here, older version. So it's not much different than what I would uh, record for you. But let's take a look here. Circuits right here. Single loop circuits, multi-loop circuits, the ammeter and the voltimeter. Most likely you folks have already worked with the ammeter and voltimeter in the classroom. Okay? And RC circuits. Okay. Let's uh, just go quickly through this, 
this chapter so you you know what you're gonna see there you go here's a single loop circuit with a battery a power source and a resistor okay you study resistors and capacitors and we are going to and here is another circuit now with two batteries and a and a resistor indicating as well the direction of the current okay and single loop circuit okay using the technique of uh, Kirchhoff loop law okay and which is a very useful technique which is also covered in my in my recordings power power of circuit circuit element yes we have multi loop circuits okay which is related to resistors in parallel and that's also covered in my in my recordings the ammeter and the voltmeter import two important pieces of information about the ammeter and voltmeter there in the classroom most likely Crawford introduced you to the digital multimeter the digital multimeter can behave both as a voltmeter and a, as a ammeter the voltmeter measures voltage the ammeter measures current a important difference between those two devices is that the voltmeter is always connected in parallel with a circuit element and the ammeter is must be always connected in series with a circuit if you switch if you switch those devices if you connect the ammeter in parallel and the voltmeter in series you're not going to get you the full measurements in the case of the ammeter, you're gonna burn the ammeter, you're gonna burn the fuse of the ammeter, okay? So the ammeter has a very low resistance and uh, sucks all the current through it because it sucks so much current. Because the current is so high going through the, multi, the, through the ammeter, it burns the fuse in the ammeter in case you connected it here, right? In the case of the voltmeter, you don't damage the device, but uh, you measure a zero voltage, a zero electric potential, because the resistance of the voltmeter is so high that the current uh, flowing through it, in case it was placed right here in the place of a ammeter, the current would go to zero. Okay. Finally, we have RC circuits. You have the case of a charging capacitor. The case of a charging capacitor, you have a power supply in the circuit, and you have the case of a capacitor that is being discharged in a circuit. Okay. The discharging capacitor, how, how the circuit of discharging capacitor behaves. Let's go in back here, that their circuit. Note, see that the circuit that I showed to you has a switch, right? If the switch is connected here to A, the capacitor charges because the battery is in the circuit. If I move the switch to the point B, then the battery is no longer part of the circuit is insulated from the circuit because we have this free end right in here and the capacitor discharge all of that through the resistor so those are the two important circuits that you have so i go into the details in my in my video that i posted in there 
let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to get ready for our second exam that's coming soon okay so hope everything is fine there with you and if you need any help send me an email and uh, can, you can send an email to my personal email address and you can send that to the college address as well. Okay, I prefer that you send to my personal email address because I'm always checking emails in my personal email address. Okay, so I hope that helps and looking forward to continue teaching you all. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.